and I found this set of Crayola colored pencils. Pack of 12, but that's really all you need to make a killer piece of art. And I thought it would be a lot of fun just to give them a try. Let's pull one out and let's get started. I'll show you guys how using simple tools should not stop any artist. So first I got out the black and I'm just doing the likeness of Vermeer's girl with a pearl earring. So this is my measuring phase where I'm just trying to get all the proportions as close as I can to the original. And then I start layering in details. It really draws a great line and you can go as light as you want or as dark as you want. And in this case, just because there's 12 colors, I have to mix them a lot that I'm going to be using a lot of thin layers built up over time. For the price, there's nothing better than these colored pencils. It really shouldn't cost a lot to make a great piece of art. I think what's most important is that it's a lot of fun to work with inexpensive materials. It always makes you want to try more rather than if these things cost a lot of money, I, I wouldn't want to experiment. So then I wouldn't become as good of an artist. But I did almost all of this drawing without sharpening a single pencil, by the way. I just let them get duller and duller and I made sure that I started with the most detailed area of the face. But you can really build up some nice blacks. The white of the paper still comes through and that's just the nature of it being watercolor paper. If I used it a flat paper, I'm sure I could get even more kind of solid colors. But I thought, you know, if you showed this to any person in the world, they would say, this is Vermeer's girdle with a pearl earring. And to me, that just means it communicates successfully. I'm building up these lips with lots of different reds, even some blues. I'm putting some browns in there also. I'm trying to preserve the white of the paper for, for actual teeth and lip highlight and eye highlights. Because once this color goes down, it is not going to erase back off building up my darks around the nose and slowly getting it darker and darker. Now the original was a rich oil paint, so it's gonna take a lot of layers to get that dark. I would lay down warm browns first and then cover them in black and then I'd even add some blue in to make it even more dark. But the key is to be patient, work in sections, um, here's the actual pearl. I spent a little time on that just because that's the name of the painting. But you can see the difference at a distance, you know, there's all the colors are starting to blend together. I'm using a lot of blues. Here's some reds. This is almost like an lizard and crimson around the eye. Um, I'm using the brown too. And then it was just a matter of keep cross hatching those layers in. And then to give my hand a rest, I would go back into the coat and work on some lighter areas. I ended up, even on the coat, I ended up building, it was at least three layers of three different colors. And then I could uh, warm up the light side and then I just needed to carve in the final outline all around the whole thing. This is my tribute to Vermeer, who was amazing. And maybe if he were alive today, maybe he'd be using Crayola colored pencils. I'm Doug Tenaple. Thanks for joining me.